Screw you, George Lucas. Sincerely, from a lifelong fan, I hope you get ganged raped by a frenetic group of Jawas. I mean, it's only fair figuring you'd be doing it to your loyal fans for nearly a decade. Action figures, comic books, posters, bobbleheads, bathrobes, Jabba the Hutt beanbag chairs. And don't forget the commemorative Star Wars vibrator, complete with real force action. And if you think I'm exaggerating, Google that shit. Then if your loyal geekdom hadn't worked enough overtime at the local Taco Bell to pay for this frivolous shit, there was the Format Wars. VHS, Betamax, Laserdisc. Oh, and then you really flexed your Jedi marketing muscle, you batty little Ewok. In 1997, you re-released those original beloved films in theaters. Good God, the fact I even have to refer to the trilogy as original is infuriating. And furthermore, using the plural term trilogies in reference to one continuous storyline is fucking asinine. And what we the fans didn't realize at the time was that this re-release was just a bit of a chattered cushion. Not put in place for those of us that might have fainted at the mockery of the upcoming revelation of Anakin Christ. No, it was to protect our needs while we were slowly and continuously rectally violated. First, we assumed the re-release was just going to be an updated version of the film with some never-seen-before footage. Well, let's just say there's a difference between digital restoration and recreation. But there was a spark of hope. Maybe an upcoming DVD release of the digitally stored footage with a nice new 6.1 THX mix. What? No? Well, that would have been cool. Yeah, so then we had to sit through six years of prequels. Jar Jar, Mini Chlorings, an emo version of the Lord of the Dark Sith. And still, no freaking DVD release of the original trilogy. No, nada. And we were actually forced to purchase the recreated version of the film on VHS if we wanted to replace them in our library. Then there on the horizon, is that... Is that the dual sons of Tatooine? No, it's rumors that Lucas has finally decided to release the original and one true trilogy on DVD. Oh, happy day. No, it had only been 10 years since the initial popularity of the DVD format in the first place. But we can forgive you for that. Because surely you're going to release the original trilogy restored and rescored. Wait, the DVD release is going to be the recreated version of Star Wars? Now with even more nonsense added? And if I actually want to try and buy the original original of the trilogy is, I actually have to purchase them in the deluxe box set of the recreated. No, reanimated Franken versions. And you want to pour salt and lemon juice on my bleeding, gaping asshole by telling me that the originals haven't been digitally restored or enhanced and it's on the same crappy 2.0 mix it was back on Betamax. Mr. Lucas, can you jizz into a DVD case, shrink wrap it, and let me pay 120 bucks for it? You know what, George? You're that hot chick in high school. You know, the one everyone used to fuck. You may have lost your popularity among some people in college, but now it's been 30 years and you've started charging the ex-jocks for something you used to give away for free. Mostly because you love doing it. You'll always have customers, George, because we all want to have that satisfying feeling of nostalgia from our youth, even though we may be getting badly screwed in the process. So, a year ago, I get the news that you're re-re-re-releasing Star Wars, again, on Blu-ray. Finally. Then, my anal fissure started to throb again as I read that the original versions of the film were never really the completed vision that you'd intended, and now you'd been tinkering around the lab again. Great. Another bastardized union of Jabba the Greed Glutton and modern technology. And the original of the originals is nowhere in sight for this release. And of course, I gently lube my ass, grab my knees, and smile for you, you bearded sadist. As you spank me with bricks of hundred dollar bills, Partially the money I've given to you over the years. But I can't help wonder as you throw your massive job of love bags over my back. Why don't you just give us what we want? I mean, we'll continue to buy every new version of the films you want to ejaculate into a slender box and overcharge us for. Hell, I even own the DVDs of those shitty ass cartoons you signed off on. I mean, is it really all for artistic integrity? Or is it because we're those lame, middle-aged ex-jocks just looking to get off? Desperately seeking your fading talents after 30 years, trying to capture just a bit of that happy nostalgia from our youth. And now, with all this new attention, you don't have to suck our cocks and feel like a whore anymore. Screw you, George Lucas. Screw you. And why don't you do something productive with your overworked CGI minions? Come on, man, no more pussyfooting around and alluding to the obvious. Make with the Star Wars porn. That's right, a triple S collection of glorious incestual love and interspecies humping. May the force be with you. But I digress. Kiwa benta pudu Lucas.